A community is in mourning after one of their own was killed while protecting his family. He's being honored tonight through a candlelight vigil. WCI 3's Sarah Lehman has that story. Dozens gathered in front of the Champaign County Courthouse. Members of the Congolese community, Courage Connection, and others in Champaign County, all to remember and honor in Zingeli Mufwamba. We had a tragedy in our community um, that happened late Wednesday evening into Thursday morning, um, where sadly um, uh, someone of dedicated father was intervening in a domestic violence incident and lost his life. Mufuama was killed last week. His daughter's ex-boyfriend, Dominic Fortune, is accused of the crime. Police say he drove from Chicago when she blocked his calls and texts. Mufuama confronted Fortune. That's when police say Fortune killed him. Courage Connection says 20% of people killed because of domestic violence isn't the partner. It's a family or friend who's trying to help. So they held a candlelight vigil to honor Mufwamba and to bring awareness to the fact that domestic violence impacts everyone. Unfortunately, that happens all too often. We've seen um, a lot of the violent crime in, um, in our community have a direct correlation and connection to domestic violence. And so um, we, we want to honor um, this gentleman's life and we want to be able to also raise awareness. Mufama's family says they don't want what happened to them to happen to anyone else. We came here to, with the whole community to let people know that uh, this is not only about the Congolese community, but the issue that uh, concerns everybody, we are concerned about it. So we came here to raise our voice as one man to say this is enough and we don't want this to happen to anybody else. So that's why we here came for, for my brother's memory to, to light the candle so we can know that uh, we love him and we miss him too. Fortune's trial is set for June. We do have a list of ways you can support the victim's family. That's posted to our website right there at WCIA.com.